What is going on guys? Welcome back to Gamer Guide Channel. I am Rollin and today we are looking at some more cross out and we're going to be checking out some exhibition of vehicles today. Other people's creations they've made and taking them out for a test drive. Something really cool you can do in this game. Uh, so if you put it up here on the shop, other people can take it out and test it out. So I said let's try about five of these that look pretty promising and see how they perform out in the battle and see if it gives us some ideas for maybe some of our future builds. So we'll start here with the uh, number one slot here which is called uh, I Demonlith and uh, by I Demonlith and we'll give it a try let's take it out into a match so this thing is uh, a huge tank like robot and it has one of these mammoth cannons on top let's see how quickly we can take out our own vehicle here with our with our cannon also has onboard missiles I noticed wow that made real short work of my vehicle 410 couple shots takes the wheels off I'm surprised that I could take three shots from here let's see if we can hit our uh, window there we go destroyed now against some actual targets here can we get them with my missiles oh yeah that worked real nice Oh no, sir. You are not going to be getting away here. Alright, the only thing I'll say about this vehicle is a little bit slow. But besides that, this thing is badass, so I can see why it got top marks. And that does a lot of damage. Pretty fun, I'll say. Let's see if we can hunt down some more of these enemies. I like the build on this, and uh, the four tracks at the back looks like two of the smaller tracks up front helps it steer. It's built out really beefy, and it does uh, look like it's in one of the uh, heavier tank factions, not the Nomads, but the Scavengers, the one that I joined. But the cool thing about this game is you can kind of go back and, and uh, build any faction's vehicles you want to. I like the coloring on this too. They use that hazard paint and black together pretty well. So, my cannon shoots really slow here. I'll say that. That'd be one downside. But when it does hit, it does lots of damage. There we go. Let's fire missiles at this guy. Wow. This vehicle is awesome. I definitely give this thing like very high marks. I guess out of 10. I would say this has got to be like a 9 or a 10 for me. It's a little bit slow, so that's why I'm not, like, thinking perfect. But, uh, the firepower on this thing is amazing. And I love these, uh, these missiles. Just demolishes anything without really even having to try. And then the Mammoth Cannon, if you do get up close, and you have time to aim, or they just happen to be in the right spot, you can totally nuke them. So, definitely liking this. Let's go check out the next vehicle. All right, back to the bay, our exhibition slot. I'm going to definitely give that one a thumbs up overall. And uh, you can download these two for yourself. I don't have the parts for this, so I'm not going to bother at the moment. But uh, I'll probably come back if this is still in the shop. I probably will end up getting this guy. It's pretty awesome. It's a nice little build, or build something kind of similar to it. Uh, let's try this next one, the Apollon, uh, by Apollon 1. So it's kind of a self-represent. It looks really nice. I like the uh, solid gold look here. Certainly sleeker. Uh, more of the Nomad's look in this game. So let's take this out for a test drive. This thing uh, a little bit faster, I'm noticing already, and has all big tracks, less tracks, but all the large tracks, four of them. And then looks like dual machine guns. Oh, am I missing? There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but they do overheat a little bit. Very powerful, though. And this thing is a little bit more maneuverable, too. I think it's a little bit lighter weight vehicle overall. But if you can get those uh, guns locked on, it seems like it does a better job overall. Here we go. we got an enemy over there. Let's see if we can lead the shots a little bit. There yeah, we got him a couple times. Now well, we got somebody coming in. So it turns a little easier. Wow, those machine guns are just badass. We go, got him out. A lot of these guys seem to be running not trying to engage me at least. There we go. That guy got in. 
Didn't last long though. So yes, this thing looks really cool. I love the gold uh, paint job they selected, and it's super sleek, like low profile. And then these guns are just a killer. And I, I definitely like how the uh, gun turns a lot quicker than the big cannons. So no ammo on this too. So uh, definitely, I'm liking this vehicle. I don't know, if, do I like it more or less than the last one? Probably maybe a little bit more, just because it looks so cool. And uh, the guns are a little bit faster as far as walking onto a target. It doesn't have any of those missiles though, so the uh, heat-seeking missiles, if this was going up against the other one, could end this vehicle pretty quick, but it's just kind of whoever sees first, who first. There we go. And the guns do overheat, so you gotta be pretty accurate. It also takes a little bit of time for these machine guns to ramp up. You hold down the button and the, the gun starts spinning, the Gatling gun starts going, but it doesn't actually fire. Uh, for a couple of, couple of seconds, so that's the one downside, but very cool. Definitely going to give this one the thumbs up to the Apollon, uh, a winner for me. Let's try out something else. All right, thumbs up for that guy. Let's head back out to see what else we got here. We have this little wheelie launcher, too. I don't know if I want to try that. Let's just see what else we got on another page. We got uh, something called the Demon Lift. That thing looks pretty massive. Um, we have these, uh, looks like bomb, bomb vehicle. I'm not sure if it has any guns on it, but the idea, I guess, is just to hit the opponent with these little spike things. Let's try this out. I really haven't played with these very much, but uh, let's see how much damage they can actually do. All right, so we'll take this out here. Do we have any guns? We have mostly all. So we have a way to drop mines, it looks like, or something. No? Okay, well, what's the F do? Oh, cloaking. Wow, that is cool. So we can cloak up on somebody and hit them. Dang, I made real short work of that. Unfortunately, it's kind of a one-hit wonder. As now what do we do? Aha! Okay, we fire barrels up front. Man, those are slow. So well, this is definitely close range. The good thing is, it seems to be pretty fast. Now, how will we handle against other vehicles after we've already taken our bombs out? That could be problematic. Well, that worked. You have to get right up on them, though. Oop. But it can work if you uh, are fast enough, which this vehicle is. Take out his rear wheels. And deliver explosion right to his face. Alright, do we have any guy hiding back here? Whoa. Well, I approved the jumps on it. Definitely way faster than the other vehicles. So the small little wheels here are cool. And look at the, uh, what is that, a phoenix on the side? A couple of phoenixes? That's neat. I haven't seen that before in the game, so something different there. Let's see, this guy is hiding. Can we hunt him down and throw a barrel? right in his tailpipe. Come back! I just want to share a tasty treat with you. Oh. <clears throat> Don't run away. Have a barrel of deliciousness. There we go. Alright, this thing's not shoot so fast. There we go. A pair of barrel to the nose. Blasted his face off. So we got one more here. I'm having fun kind of trying to uh, snipe these guys with barrels. Let's see if we can get this guy. He's on the up barrel, though. He knows what's up. He's like, I'm staying up here. But somehow my barrels roll uphill. And he just lost a bunch of his vehicle. Don't run away. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right. I think we auto flip. No, I'm invisible now. Good. Uh, this car's upside brown trips R to flip. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this vehicle. Definitely going to give it a thumbs up. It's something different. Feels more like a uh, Tesla vehicle. Back when the Teslas were, you know, one up, you had to recharge them and stuff like that. This is kind of, once you hit them with the uh, bombs, it's over. But you will totally destroy somebody with those things if you are playing it right and you got the right strategy. So I'll give it a thumbs up. I don't think I'd probably download that one, though, because I like something with the uh, guns and a little bit more fortitude probably than this has to offer. All right, so we got three reviews done so far. Let's look here on page two. 
Let's see what else we got. I like the look of this little thing. It's called the Savannah. And, uh, or it's by Savannah. It's just called User Slot 2. Probably could be called the Savannah. It looks pretty nice. Let's give this a try. Oh, I don't want to report them. I want to play their vehicle. Here we go. Test drive. I uh, definitely like this, and the large wheels look really cool. One thing I noticed is this thing has plus 11 reputation, which means you're going to level up really fast, and they have a lot of cosmetic parts put onto it somewhere, which is really cool. I mean, the, the tailpipes here on the side definitely are. This thing's pretty maneuverable, and again, it's going to use that machine gun, so I like that a lot. It has a pretty good overheating system, and then what is this? Let's press F. Nice! you got a missile drone. He's going to take that guy out. I'll go ahead and Take out my vehicle. And let's go ahead and we'll pop in some uh, opponents here, too. Finish taking my vehicle out. There we go. And let's see how this missile drone does. Alright, well, my drone is gone. I guess it doesn't last forever. But this machine gun makes short work of just about anybody. Now, it looks like it recharges, though, so you can call it back if you need to. The enemies aren't hiding from me in this vehicle. So I guess it's just a little bit lower rating. Last one of my side tailpipes. I really like the way this thing looks, though. It definitely looks like, like a legit military vehicle of some kind, like it's a futuristic Humvee or something like that with six wheels. It uh, really controls well, too, so I'm liking this. And then you have the uh, Drone Launcher 2, which gives it... That extra projectile missile, too, uh, for pretty much 360 degrees as those turn a little easier. Let's try it against this enemy here in the water. And then I think we'll go on to our next review. Man, look at that thing. It just devastates it. That is awesome. Here we go. We got another guy over there. Get a missile drone. Let's use our large wheels to our advantage. Awesome. Yes, definitely be interested in trying this vehicle out for sure. I like it because it's a little bit faster than those big tanks, but still has really good firepower with the one machine gun and the drone launcher, too. Definitely thumbs up. Let's try our last vehicle here in their ex exhibition adventure this afternoon. We'll go ahead and just give that a thumbs up real quick. And we will back out here. One more vehicle. What should we try? We got something that looks like a tank. Got something called the car sniper. That's neat. Uh, let's keep looking. I want to see what else we have here. Maybe something will pop out to us. Another one of the Nomad vehicles, which I think are really cool and slick. This is really unusual. Just a giant iron thing. I'm not sure even if it has any weapons on it. What else do we got? We have a uh, troop truck. Okay, troop truck. And this is really unusual looking. The uh, Amutucked 2. No one's downloaded it, though. What is this? The Bumblebee just has chainsaws on the front. All right, we got to try this as our last review vehicle, as it looks like something truly different from the rest. Let's take this guy out. The Bumblebee looks like it has two chainsaws on the front, so I'm guessing that's going to do continual damage. And then it has some kind of missile, too, uh, on the right trigger. Let's just see how we do here. I'm going to go up against our land party van. Yeah. It has constant damage, but you got to catch people, so this should be kind of interesting. Whoa. I blasted my own face off, I think, with that thing. So it has a missile system on board, and then the chainsaw puts out some damage. And it seems like it's pretty speedy. Nice. I'm going to restart this real quick, though. And we're going to take this out against some of those other units. Let's pop them in. So we got to press... Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can actually catch people and, and do our paint shot thing. Whoops. There we go. Yes, definitely works. I'm just one, a little worried about damage done to our own vehicle. Now, we have a giant metal plate in the front of it. So I guess that is to prevent us from getting totally wrecked by our, the blast that we are making happen. I'm going to take this guy out with missiles. Nice. That is cool. So you do have a little ranged optional attack if you need it, but this thing is probably the fastest vehicle I've driven and a lot of fun to play. I'm just kind of taking circles here. Let's see if we can actually chainsaw this guy down. Alright, he's got his own little set of spikes. And I am catching him. Slowly but surely. 
All right, we, we chopped his wheels off. Nice. The Bumblebee. It's pretty badass. It's got a real light frame, a really big motor, and it uses these small wheels to propel itself across the uh, terrain here very quickly. Let's see, that is our two vehicles. Let's see if we can catch a real enemy. I'm probably hiding. And then the missile system, too. If somebody is kind of uh, kiting you and running, shooting backwards at you, you can at least knock them out with those missiles. There we go. We got found a guy hiding. He's trying to go to the woods, but the bumblebee found you. You're gonna get stung, son. Oh, yeah. It's Chainsaw Massacre time. That is awesome. I love this vehicle. Would I probably play it competitively? No. Because <laughs> once an 88mm cannon sees this thing, I don't care how fast your little wheels are, bullets go faster. But it would be fun to kind of, uh, you know, pop out and ambush some people with the chainsaws. It is a lot of fun to play. They don't do a tremendous amount of damage, but the nice thing is they'll have no ammo. And uh, you do have that backup missile system if you really do get in trouble. It seems to do pretty good damage. Let me just try the missile system just by itself on this vehicle. Dang! I mean, that pretty much took out my vehicle, just that one uh, volley. And then we'll finish it here with uh, some chainsaw goodness. Wow, 715. So if you get both chainsaws on point, it can do some tremendous damage. I think I probably hit my fuel barrel with that. That's why I did that. Oh, here's another guy. Oh, we got him a little bit with that one missile. Maybe took the wheel off. Oh, no, you don't. That is fun. Definitely thumbs up on this. Great idea. I mean, this game, you don't have airplanes and stuff like you do in Robocraft, but uh, having a little drone-like uh, quick sniper assassin sort of thing. Well, not sniper, but you know what I mean. Quick little chainsaw assassin vehicle. A lot of fun. And I keep doing, like, little spin-outs here because in this game, it actually works right where you're not... You're more controllable than other games uh, where spin-outs basically take your vehicle out of control. This feels like... 100% control even when I'm sliding around. So really cool. And I definitely like it. Let's go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And if you guys would give me a thumbs up, I appreciate that very much. And leave a comment below. Let me know if you have tried out Cross Out or what you think about this game. Or if there's any other sandbox robocraft like games you've been playing. I heard of something called Steamcraft recently. I've kind of been looking for it, but it's not yet up on um, Steam. All right. Yeah, Steam. Uh, it looks a lot like Robocraft, though, and something that uh, I think Bob the Biscuit had put out on his channel. So that kind of looked interesting, but I didn't see it, and I think it, I don't know if it stops production or if they're just waiting to, to put it up, but that looks kind of interesting as well. There's going to be some new things coming out for Robocraft, so definitely keep an uh, eye out here for that as I'll be doing another Robocraft video here later in the week covering the brand new Mini Ion Shotgun. Uh, but anyway, that's been five different robots here from the Exhibition Market. And uh, definitely impressed with people's work. I really like it. The first page, uh, I think my favorite robot of all of this, I think I'm going to say it's going to be the Apollon. That thing was pretty fast. Not super fast, but uh, the gun turret, um, double machine guns on it, was pretty devastating against enemies and uh, moved a little quicker too and getting a lock on whereas the high demon lift uh, really fun too those missiles especially the heat sink ones um, those were devastating and then having that mammoth can a lot of fun it was certainly the most tanky of the bots so i can see why these are the top rated robots anyway uh five vehicles tested five vehicles got a thumbs up here and i hope to see you guys back here real soon on gamer guide uh, for some more cross out and other style videos like that Till next time, guys, be well.